What's going on everybody? We're here in the gecko room today to talk about a common question that I get. How to mix your leopard gecko supplements. Selling in the billions each year, Rainbow Mealworms is your one-stop shop for all your insect needs. Their quality feeders and A-plus customer service keep me coming back to support the health and growth of all of our animals. Visit them today at rainbowmealworms.net to place your order. All right, so we're here at the work desk and I'm gonna show you really easy how to do this. Now, basically we have two supplements that we use. This you can get off of Amazon or at most reptile and pet stores and it's called Repti Calcium. You'll want to get the one with D3. If you are not using supplemental lighting for your leopard gecko, which would be UVB lighting. And this you can also get from Amazon as well. It's called Vianate for pets. They stay pretty good in stock of this. This is the 32 ounce bottle. You get the most bang for your your buck with this. Now typically this ratio is going to work for whatever calcium you use, but you want to use a one to three ratio. So really easy. See, I was running low right here, so I need to make some more. You want to grab a mixing bowl because this is going to go directly into your leopard gecko's food. I buy these from the dollar store. You get like six sizes for a dollar. It's pretty cool. This is just a big scoop for me, so I like using this scoop. So it is a quarter cup scoop. Let me remove my serving spoon here. I'm literally going to take one topped off scoop of calcium, drop it in the mixing bowl, and I will literally take three topped off scoops of vitamin powder. I'll put this back away for next time. And this is always the fun part for me. So I put the lid on this. First I swirl it around like that, jumble it up and down, swirl it a little bit more, jumble some more. Then I'll open it up and I'll usually take my serving spoon and just kind of mix it for just a second and then bam, we are ready to go. So now that you got your calcium and vitamins all mixed up in one easy to use powder, I'm gonna show you how to give it to your leopard geckos. So we're cleaning leopard geckos right now and everyone gets treated the same. So I'll check girls for ovulations, no ovulation. I will take the old stuff, which is usually about a week old, dump it in the trash and I'll put new worms inside. Now I also like to use a scooper for worms and this is one of those scoopers that came with the last one you saw. This is a tablespoon, so one tablespoon. While leopard geckos are juveniles to adults, I will give them one tablespoon of food a week. When they're babies, they might get like a quarter of this. And then when they're adults, they might get a quarter of this, but this is a girl that I'm expecting to go into breeding over the next couple months, so I wanna give her a full scoop. If I had to guess, a full scoop is probably about 50 or 60 mealworms in there. And because we're going into breeding, I wanna really be generous with this mixture. So this is the mixture that we just made. I took a scoop of it, and I'm going to basically dump all of that in there. So you saw it was like one plastic spoonful in there for breeding females. If there's less worms, you could put about half the amount of vitamin mix in there. The reason I wanted to put so much is so that every single worm gets coated in it and every single worm gets to eat these vitamins because your leopard gecko will then eat the worms. Let's put that aside and let's just look real quick what your leopard geckos are getting. So this is the calcium mixture that we had one scoop of. You can see there's 1% moisture, there's about 38 to 43% calcium, and then there's also vitamin D3 because we got the one with D3. Again, D3 is absolutely necessary unless you are using a UVB light. If you're using a UVB light, then the UVB light will do the same thing that D3 does for the geckos without light. So D3 is like the synthesized version of vitamin D. So you always hear about like going outside and getting your vitamin D from the sun. When you do that, the sun helps your body take vitamin D and turn it into the absorption supplement D3. Because we keep leopard geckos without sun. As you see, all of these leopard geckos have no UVB lighting. It's just a racking system. They have nothing to synthesize that vitamin D to turn it into vitamin D3. So it's very important that you give them vitamin D3 if you do not have UVB lighting.
Now, this is one of my favorite parts. Let's take a look at everything they're getting in the vitamin supplement. So again, this is Vionate for pets, and it is a full supplement for your leopard geckos. So there's gonna be protein, 3%, fat, 1%, moisture, 12%, which is always good. A little bit of fiber in there. There also is a little bit of calcium in here as well. There also is phosphorus, but it is in a two to one ratio. So you're okay with this ratio of phosphorus here. Magnesium, iron, copper, magnes. Look, there's even vitamin D3 in here, vitamin A, E, niacin, and the list goes on. And then down here, it tells you how they made it if you need to know. Now, in my experience, just my experience, you do not need to gut load your insects if you are doing this exact mixture that I'm showing you today. So I've never gut loaded my insects for my leopard geckos. I've always just taken the mealworms, put it in the dish, and then dump the calcium mixed with vitamins into that dish. And that dish will sit there for anywhere between seven to 10 days until the leopard gecko's tub is due for cleaning again, and it will get a fresh batch of worms. And if you've seen our previous videos, you know that we keep our worms in the refrigerator. So I just grab them straight out of the refrigerator, put them straight into the bowl, dump the calcium powder with vitamin mix into the bowl, just like I showed you in this video, and that's it. There's no gut loading process in between that. And I've seen good fertility rates. I haven't had an issue with that. I haven't had an issue with health. I haven't had an issue with growth. All of our geckos are on pace and grow the same as other people who do gut load. And here's why I believe why. Because all of those vitamins in the powder, like look, you can see the gecko. Now check it out. <laughs> All of those vitamins in the powder goes into the guts of the mealworms. So the mealworms are gut loading on that powder while they are sitting in that bowl for seven to 10 days and the leopard gecko will just eat those worms little by little. All right, guys, well, what did you think about this video? I know a lot of you have asked before what we do for supplementation. This is the exact process. You just saw it. So I thank you guys for watching. I really like the suggestions that you guys have been giving lately. I've written a, a lot of them down, but please drop a comment below of more suggestions of leopard gecko videos that you want us to cover. So I appreciate you guys once again. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, have a geeky gecko. Great day. Peace.